When working with Logic Pro X, you'll spend most of your time in the main window. To customize the main window, you can toggle and resize its various panes to access all the media, tools and features you need for your project. By default, the main window has three areas. The control bar at the top here, which has buttons to toggle areas on and off. Transport control functions such as stop, play, rewind and so on. Information displays to indicate the playhead position. Project tempo. Time. Key signature. Mode buttons such as counting and metronome. And over here, our browsers. The inspector provides access to a contextual set of parameters. The specified parameters displayed depend on the selected track or region. Uh, or the area in key focus and the tracks area is where you build your song by arranging regions on tracks located below a ruler customizing your main window layout to display the tools you need allows you to work faster and more comfortably thereby giving you more time to focus on your music in the control bar if you click i or press i on your keyboard the inspector is hidden which allows you to see more of the tracks area. Click the toolbar button and the toolbar opens below the control bar. This displays buttons for easy access to the most used features. To customize the control bar, control click it. And from the shortcut menu, choose customize control bar and display. And then you can customize it in that window and the same for the toolbar as well. Click the quick help button and tags will appear as you hover your mouse pointer over elements of Logic's interface. Of course, there's always a help manual included with most software. Click the X key on your keyboard to display the mixer and click again to close. In the control bar, click the Apple Loops button or press O. And the Apple Loops menu is displayed on the right.